I don't want to make an intro, so I'll just get right into it. If you want to generate random numbers between 0 and 1, but not including 1, just uh, use math.random with no arguments, and here it is. The problem comes when you want to generate random decimal numbers between a specific range and with specific decimal places. So, because math.random, if you enter arguments, it will generate, in, it will choose integers between uh, those uh, two ranges. Let's say that you want to generate random floats between 0 and 10. I'll just refer to random decimal numbers to, flo uh, to floats. Uh, so, just you will need to do is generate uh, method random 0 to 10, so generating a random number between 0 and 10, actually 0 to 100, then divide that by 10. Which, if I run this, it will generate random numbers between 0 and 10. Alright? So, if you want to generate random numbers between, let's say, 0 and 100 instead of 0 and 10, then what you'll do is just increase the 0 here. Basically, the highest possible number is the number you have here in the second argument divided by 10 so that's 100 in that case all right now a harder thing to do is to generate random numbers with specific decimal places because as you can see now they're all one decimal place if you want to generate random numbers between uh, zero and one, including one. All you better to do is generate a random number between zero and ten, and then divide that by ten. So if I run this, now we're generating random numbers between uh, random floats between zero and ten. Uh, if you want to change the decimal places, so let's make it two decimal places, you just increase the zeros. So if I want it to be three decimal places, I will increase the zero here and here, and here it is, and so on. Okay, what if you want to generate between a specific range? So for example, zero to 10, not only one. So what you can do is, for, and this will generate between uh, and float between 0 and 10. The greatest value, which is basically 100 divided by 10, or this number 8. So uh, this will generate random floats. Okay. I could also do that. And this will also generate random floats between 0 and 10. Except it's with two, two decimal places. Um, now, if you want to maybe generate between a thousand, you just add the zero here. Uh, sorry, that's between a hundred, not a thousand. But you'll make this a thousand. If I want it to be with uh, two decimal places. Another way is to just basically use the first way to generate random numbers between uh, no floats between 0 and 100, uh, 0 and 10, sorry. Then you will add that to math.random 0 to 10 divided by 10. Let's make it 100 actually, so two decimal places. See, that's another way. The problem with this way is that uh, you could actually go beyond the number you want because 
this the maximum number this could generate is one, and the maximum number here is ten. So there's a low possibility that this generates a ten, and then this will add it, will add to it. So it will be over ten, which is the number you want. So just how I fix this is putting it ninety here. So the maximum number it can get here is nine, and the maximum number here is one. So the maximum number you can ever get from this is ten. So I hope you liked this video. It took me more than it should to figure this out, and yeah, hope that helped.